Morning everyone, welcome to Do Daily. Attack the day is Daz here, who's ready to wake up to walk. As you saw there, this is actually my second take. In the morning, that wasn't going to plan as it was. I went home, tried to upload the video, and the second half of it was in slow motion. I think the last thing you guys need is me talking like, for 10, 15 minutes. So I'm back out to give it another go. Probably forget all the things I said before, but as ever, it gives me an opportunity to get in a few more miles, steps, you know, get out in this amazing place and do what I really, really enjoy on a Friday morning. Like I said, it's not gone to plan this morning. I'd hoped, mentioning on Thursday thoughts that I'd get up to the Robin Hood way, continue that trek throughout Nottinghamshire, which I'd been doing every Friday until just recently when lots has got in the way. Um, really wanted to get back to it. Do you know, been looking forward to it, but woke up this morning and feeling really, really rough. Do you know, I mentioned I've got a bit of a cold, feeling under the weather. When I woke up initially, I couldn't talk. Do you know, so I had to give myself a bit of time to come to terms with the day, but I'm still out in the morning, still getting my walk in, using it not just to come to terms with the day, but to come to terms with the way I'm feeling, Do you know, not feeling fantastic. When I came out before, got absolutely wet through, so that's not helping either, dodging showers, but it makes for a beautiful morning down here by the Trent. And like I always say, it's not, a bad place to have to default to, is it? Do you know, it's happened a lot in the last few weeks due to my arm injury and a lot of pain and suffering around that, do you know, and plans changing and meetings and all sorts of different things. But like I say, I'm not gonna let that get to me. This channel is about positivity. It's my personal vlog and how I deal with things, how I cope. Do you know, all I want is people looking in to think, do you know, if. If your, if your plans don't exactly go to plan, just move on, move forward, deal with them, cope with them in a slightly different way than getting stressed and worked up. Because it always works at the end of the day. It's always the answer, do you know, that if we remain calm and calculated and just uh, accept it a little bit more, do you know, we can feel that, we can feel so much better about ourselves. And that's definitely what I'm doing, do you know, even though the first time I came out, do you know, it was wet, it was a little bit colder than it is now. Do you know, it made me feel so much better. It, I'd said on that video, just being out for a few minutes, kind of cleared my head a little bit, cleared my mind from like feeling so sort of groggy and sleepy. Do you know, and that was fantastic. So having a walk, do you know, getting back. Yes, again, the frustration, but I just get the opportunity to go and walk again. And like I say, I'll keep showing you this because it's absolutely fantastic. The sun's trying to poke through now. Behind me, it's, there's blue sky. Hopefully you can see that. And there's a great view there of Trent Bridge. Do you know, and this is what I do on a Friday morning, isn't it? I just try and find that little bit of positivity to help us attack everything we've got to do, do you know? Which is not a great deal for me today, being the way I am, a little bit ill, still in pain with my arm find that positivity to take forward, do you know, to reflect on the week gone by, you know, and, and what's happened. Just trying to sort of let everybody see that normal people can do normal things and get so much from it. Of course, the, I touch on mental health and such issues, but it's a really light-hearted way of dealing with things. Like I say, normal, just being normal. Do you know, we all look at other things at times and think we should be doing this or we shouldn't be doing that. Do you know, if it makes you happy, it's about doing what you do. Me, doing do daily, getting up. Getting on that Robin Hood way when I can makes me really happy. It gives me real purpose and intention. And whilst I'm not beating myself up too much about it because it's, a lot of it's been taken out of my control. I always say, don't be defined by things you can't control. 
Do you know, a lot of it is not things I could do anything about in reality. Um, I am aware that I do need to get back and finish it off. It's important for me to do that. Do you know, it was a challenge. Do you know, it's logistically as well as sort of the physical side of it. Of course, I enjoy the walk. I enjoy the views and seeing new things, learning more about the place I live here in Nottinghamshire. But it's also logistically a challenge. So for that reason, I need to kind of get it ticked off. I spoke probably a few months ago now, whilst I, whilst I was on the Robin Hood route, I've done about four fifths of it. And I was speaking about the importance of finishing things off, you know, making sure you get it done. So that's sticking in my mind because it has been a three, four weeks now since I was up there, do you know? And I said at that time, it, it, it's sometimes the hardest bit to achieve when you set out to do things when you say you're going to do something do you know the last bit is always the hardest bit as somebody who like who prides themselves on the fact that when they say they're going to do something they do it do you know for me i need to get it done at the end of the day it doesn't really matter to anybody else do you know i'm not not worried what people think i just like to know that when i've said it do you know makes me feel good it gives me that sense of accomplishment whilst it's not a massive huge sort of ask it's not a, a huge achievement it gives me a real sense of accomplishment you know knowing that it's something i've used so well do you know the trek itself is 100 miles uh, over 100 miles i've done 80 odds so all through this year do you know it's given me something to look forward to and friday mornings have become a real sort of favorite during my week the sun's actually blinding me now it's come out the Friday mornings have become a real favourite and something to look forward to. So I wouldn't go without it. And the one thing by finishing it is I can set about the next one. I always talk about pushing on, using the time to prepare whilst we're out on a Friday morning, to prepare, to plan, to look ahead. Do you know, I, I always do that at the end of the episode for my weekend. Of course, what I'll do before that though today is reflect on the week gone by. And whilst there has been a lot of frustrations, you know, when you are ill or in pain, you know, there's, there's going to be things that kind of get to us and stop us doing what we want. And like I say, whilst I'm determined and sort of forthright in the fact that I want things done, I want to move forward, you know, I've got to be realistic as well. If we're not realistic, you know, it's never going to really happen, is it? Because things are just going to come to a head and we're just going to say, sod that do you know i can't be bothered now but this week i've been speaking about momentum and momentum is something that's been really important whilst I it's important in everything we do and when we pick it up we end up sort of flying do you know if you if you're achieving and doing one thing and then moving on to the next and the reason i wanted to speak about it is because the momentum for me in certain aspects like i've just said about the robin hood way just keeps sort of hitting a bit of a brick wall but what I've got to be careful about, what I realise is I've got to find a way to keep momentum moving forward, whether it's exactly in the thing I want it to be with, which for me would be running and training and getting in the miles, you know, my real passion and the thing that really drives this, or just in the little things that can support that. I started a diet on Monday, spoke about that a few times, and I'm absolutely flying with that. When I could do a bit of running, I could focus on other things. I wanted to diet, but I'd been struggling a little bit to really get stuck in. This week, I know it's only five days, but we can only go on on what we've done. Really, really got stuck into it, you know. Some of the things that I was allowing myself to have, you know, I've been really, really strict because this is the thing this week I can really focus on. It's the thing I can use as momentum so when I can do all the things I want to do, do you know, when I can get back to that Robin Hood way, when I can go out for a run, when I can get back about all the jobs I need to do, which I can't do because of my arm injury, do you know, I've got this momentum going already. I've got this feel good behind me. Lost a few pounds, nothing to write home about. But again, it's small steps, isn't it? It's the small things we do that mean we can take everything else forward. Do you know, and that's what well, that's why it's been really, really important speaking about momentum. I spoke on Monday about the three things 
I have to do, you know, to feel good about myself, which means getting up, made a real good go at that this week. Um, really pleased with myself in terms of that and the amount of sleep I've had, something I struggle with, you know, getting out for activity. I've managed to do it every day, not quite as much as I should. So again, the diet's really helping sort of supplement that, you know, and, and, and make me feel good and not too bad about not doing as much activity. I do have to get out there. This is what the morning's about. Like I say, in these kind of surroundings, if, if you can default to this, why wouldn't you? Do you know, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant being out here. Do you know, and I, I say that every time. This is the second time today. Do you know, of course, I've got that kind of luxury this morning. Not everybody's um, got the same kind of time I have, but we can all find five or 10 minutes to do exactly what we need to do. And when we do, do you know, we end up proud of ourselves for doing it. And, and that's not too strong a word, is it? Do you know, we've got to, we've got to take sort of satisfaction from where we can. We've, we've lived a tough, period in everybody's life over the last 18 months to two years and um, there's just the small signs of it not being great again do you know who knows what's going to happen we never saw it coming the first time and i don't want to be negative i don't want to dwell on that because because covid and what happened with all that something i really didn't dwell on it's something that really clicked me into gear to be honest it really got me doing things like this so what I've got to remember is, that again, using some of that momentum I'm speaking about can really help me. Look at that there. And that, that would be a great picture. But obviously I'm talking on the video. But that's the war memorial for anyone who's not seen it so far. Look, an amazing building. But anyway, yeah, COVID something I've really uh, used to, to make myself feel good, you know, to, to almost reset and realise where I can do things better, what I can do for myself. And again, if, if there's any thoughts of things going back to some of the darker days, do you know, it's, a t it's an opportunity, isn't it, to use momentum we're building wherever we're getting it to really take forward and use it, to, use it for what we can. Do you know, I always say one positive action leads to another. It definitely does. Do you know, if you, I could have easily sat at home today and said, Oh, I'll just do the video at home, but that's not wake up to walk, is it? I'm a little bit poorly, do you know? The pain is driving me a little bit insane in all reality um, of my arm. But I could easily sat at home and said, well, th they're the reasons, but that's finding a reason not to do it, isn't it? It's finding an excuse, do you know? I do want to be a little bit more on the ball and, and back on that Robin Hood way and doing things exactly at the time I'm gonna say. That's a little target of mine for next week. Again, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. I'm not being down on myself, but because of the arm, because of things cropping up, in the last few weeks, I've not been getting do daily on it at, at that time. And the purpose of this is just for you guys to check in, do you know, just to see how somebody else is coping. Do you know, nothing major is happening in my life right now. I, I went for a real nice purple patch a month or two ago where it was really exciting. I was cracking on you know and then life kind of got in the way a little bit one sort in reality one negative thing has kind of led to another I, not not on purpose but I'm doing my best all the time to be positive and make sure I can do what I love to do on a Friday morning that's getting out for a walk I'm trying to sort of get it in more mornings now you know because I realize its importance if you can do that too you know if you can enjoy where you live like i enjoy this you know that's absolutely amazing you don't need all this to know to get out for a walk last friday was one of those where i had to do a meeting i had to i had to sort of do the video late still got my walk in still got my video in walk back from nottingham city center it doesn't matter if it's a built up area you know just make the most of it look up at the blue sky you know take that in it's better than any medicine, do you know? Absolutely is. I'm now looking forward to the weekend after enjoying all those frustrations first thing, do you know? Coming on late again, which I don't like doing, but it's not gonna end the world, is it? It's not gonna change anything. The reality is the few people who enjoy this will watch it whenever they can anyway. And as long as 
somebody somewhere take something from it, I'll be completely happy. Like I say, feeling good, feeling positive. Going into the weekend, got some nice things to do. Actually, stopping away for the night tonight with Kay. Something we really enjoy doing. We don't take much time for ourselves, do you know? And whilst I'm always impressed in the importance of doing things for others and the reason I, I try to do so much is it just helps me feel good, do you know? In these tricky times, um, we are taking a little bit time for ourselves which is going to be really nice, time to relax. I'm going to a football match in the West Midlands, do you know, so whilst the world famous city ground is right there, next up is the Hawthorns in West Bromwich, do you know, never, never really been to West Bromwich, never stopped in West Bromwich. So again, whilst it's something different, do you know, it's something definitely look, to look forward to. And that'll really set me off on the right foot. Hopefully Forrest pick up the win. But further to that, I'll be taking part in part one tomorrow. Again, attacking the weekend. It's the best way to do it. Do you know, probably be walking. Hopefully break into a small jog if the arm allows me. And then I'll be around a load of guys taking part in a half marathon. So whilst I was really committed to that, all things that sort of make me tick, you know, it's just a case of cracking on, isn't it? It's just a case of enjoying, using people around you, using what you enjoy and making the absolute most of it. If you get yourself out first thing for a walk, whether it's today, tomorrow, Monday, any day next week or start next Friday, you have to start somewhere. For me, it was on a Friday morning, you know, and I'm looking to expand on it. It's brilliant, you know, it's absolutely brilliant. There's some ex-Forest player who shouts out, isn't there? Walking's brilliant. It absolutely is, and, and places like this. Do you know, and when you have the chance to reflect and come to terms with everything that's happened, do you know, it's behind me now. Do you know, if I'd have sat at home, like I said before, those frustrations would have lingered on into the day, do you know, and I wouldn't have approached the football in the right way. Now, I'm really looking forward to it. Got one or two things to do before it, but I'm in a great frame of mind. I'll be back on Monday with more words of hopefully to inspire you to have a great week, do you know, Monday motivation, to hit things hard, do you know, and just to be really positive and just to keep looking in, guys, do you know, we have to listen and, and understand how everybody ticks, everything's an experience. Keep watching, please like, share and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Just doing it.